Hi, my name is Norbert Noveni. Uh, I'm 17 and I'm from, from Orji from Hungary and I train out of uh, London Shoe Fires. Uh, I was born in Budapest, capital. I moved to England three years ago. Yeah, and then when I moved here, so I joined on the shoot because uh, it's a great gym. I started uh, doing MMA because uh, my dad, I started actually wrestling because my dad uh, was uh, won the Olympics in 1980 in uh, Greco-Roman wrestling. So um, everyone always told me to do wrestling, to do some kind of fighting, but I never really liked it. And then my dad opened his gym in Hungary and I was like, yeah, yeah, it's like, I joined and then I was like, this is great, I love this, I, I have to do this. My dad had MMA fights as well, he's a pro world champion, I think, uh, of some um, uh, Croatian um, organization. So, I think he's in uh, Guinness Records as well for being the oldest person to win a, a world championship in MMA. I'm not sure about that, but he's, uh, I know that he's like, the only person who won a world uh, championship like in uh, seven or eight different sports. So yeah, so obviously I've got my dad who's uh, uh, I, I can look up to. He was he won obviously won the Olympics in 1980. Then he went into do kickboxing, full contact kickboxing. He he became world and European champion. And then he went into MMA. He won a world championship title. And then he did uh, grappling, jiu-jitsu and, and all that. When I think he's now, he just turned 60. I think his last, uh, last competition was last year's uh, World Championship. Uh, you know, feel how, like now they changed their name to United World Wrestling. Uh, and there he won in grappling, he won gold medal. And in um, uh, am amateur MMA, which is like they wear like headguards and stuff. He won bronze because uh, he had bronchitis, so he's like really ill as well. And he was quite. He went. He didn't fight with his age group. He went with the younger guys. So the first thing I started uh, doing kung fu when I was uh, around three years old. No, actually karate when I was three years old. Then the next martial arts I did was uh, was kung fu when I was like seven, six, seven. But I had loads of surgeries on my ear because I had a bet, um, uh, problem with my ear, so I, I couldn't really do that. And uh, after that I did basketball, gymnastics, everything and then my dad opened up his gym again and that's when I started it. Well, I could have said it with my dad but my mum moved here so I was like, I, you know, I always knew that like MMA in England was way bigger than Hungary so it was uh, like, I could have stayed there with my dad, trained there or I can, you know, just risk it and then see what happens here. And then I was lucky because I feel like I'm at the best place and I, I'm, I feel like I'm this far from UFC even though I still got loads to go, you know. I was, I was uh, studying and I actually went to like, do special school to learn like English but obviously it wasn't as good and uh, it was funny because when I moved here because the accent was so different first I was like I got into school, secondary school and I was sitting there and uh, my, the teacher was speaking I was like I was like, oh shit, <laughs> I don't understand a word they're saying. I'm like, ah, oh. yeah. And then a month later, I was like, okay, yeah, I'm, you know, I can actually speak it now, like, better than I used to. Family on my dad's side, and most most of the family, actually, no, everyone on my mom's side is in Hungary as well. And then uh, I live here with my mom and uh, and uh, my half little brother and half little sister.
I remember that I, I didn't really have school. It's because it was hard. It was, I went to a really, really tough school. And I just made, to be fair, the most memories I've got, they're all from like training, my gym. Because it was similar to this, like even here now, and back there it's like a family. And I think most people who, who train at a gym, and especially martial artists and fighters, they, they, they've got the same thing, that it's a family when you work with them. So my, my, most of the memories are from, from fighting in Hungary. I travel an hour and a half, two hours to get here and then to get home. So, so basically, I went, there are gyms near me and I, I, I tried two, I was like, uh, one of them is all right, but still not, not as great. And I was like, yeah, but they've got, actually first, I was like, they've got UFC fights, so they probably do something like very well. Like, so I came here and then I was like, I, I saw the coaching and, and the teammates and, and I was like, oh, I have to come here. Like the coaches are like great and like all the teammates. And then, and then you do a bit of research and then just literally all the people like Michael Page, who, and just at the moment, it's Michael Page, like, you know, Jimmy Woolhead, Gil Obafondo, Mark Shipman, Arfi, they just, you know, Javid Bashar, like, the Bash Bobby Bashar, it's a great team, and, and Amir Abazi, I can't, yeah, and back then when I joined, the same, there was like, Mark Shipman, um, uh, John Hathaway was here, uh, Page, and I was like, marching held, and I was like, wow, like, these guys are good, and I, I know that if I come here, and I was 14 when I joined, and I was like, if I just train with these guys, I'm just gonna go to a different level, and and I, f I think I was right. Yeah. yeah, I believe that I'm more on this, so I believe that I'm I'm more a stand up, I'm more on the ground, you know. So, what well, I just want to win, you know, and I do wherever I, where, wherever it takes. So. I do jiu jitsu, yeah. So I compete like um, Naga. So I this year I didn't uh, compete because um, I was getting ready for my fight start fight. But in two years in a row, I won the belt at Naga, uh, Axpa, in um, first year, it was a year, year above, because I was the heaviest in my age, yeah. and uh, uh, so yeah, that was 2015, 2016, uh, I went, that was my age group, because I, I got moved up to a higher age group, and my weight as well, so yeah, so I won then as well. Getting some fights, really. That's those. Those are my goals. If I can, I wouldn't mind turning pro, like at the end of this year. But you know, it's, I'll see how it goes. I'm still turning 18 in October. There's a if I'm. I think there's a fight after my just the day after my birthday. I wouldn't mind if that was my last Ami fight, and then uh, next fight in December maybe a pro in fight. So I don't know. Yeah, I was supposed to have three, four fights already, but people pulled out. Um, I, it's all my coaches that what they what they say. If they feel like I'm ready to turn pro, then I I will turn pro without a doubt. Because yeah, if they say that you have to have some, some like some fights in amateur, I'm, I'm like yeah, that's okay with me. Yeah. Do sports science and uh, business studies. So I choose, um, I was gonna do four A levels, and I had to talk to my coach Alexis and. Uh, I was either folk if, if I did the four A levels, I like, I would not have time for training. So I was like, you know what? I'll, I'll do B techs. So when people take the piss out of me, I'm like, nah. You know, I, I got I got good grades in my uh, GCSEs. It's not that. It's just uh, I want to focus on my sport, and I do sport. That's why I do sports science because sports science. I love I love sports science, and I think it's really good for fighting as well. Could we we do sports psychology and stuff like that, and I think I can use it in training as well. Uh, and I do business studies, which is just, you know, something, if, if fighting doesn't work out, which I don't believe, but, uh, yeah, I've got back up, so. Before, when I had my fight, I was eight, uh, I weighed in at 79.6 and I'm 88.5, so I'm just getting bigger day by day. Yeah, so, I hope, I hope I'll be either, um, Middleweight, because uh, I like middleweights because I think they look quite like you know bench and <laughs> they they're quite big. But then again, I wouldn't mind being a light light heavyweight fighter because um, my uh, one of my favorite fighters, John Jones, actually he's he's the youngest champion in UFC history, and that's that's why I want that's why I want to that's why I will be the youngest champion in UFC history. So I need to focus on that, and that's why I may be light heavyweight. So once I take his. Um, 
uh, accomplishments, I'd be like, fight me now. So everyone who knows me, they know that I'm a bit cocky. So obviously Conor McGregor, uh, Conor McGregor, I like him. I like his attitude and everything. Uh, I always like Rory McDonald's. I think he's a really nice guy and he's a beast. And to be fair, um, like um, fighting wise, maybe John Jones is my favorite. Uh, behaving and and all that like you know be like the way uh, Conor McGregor behaves I love that but if I had if I had to compare myself to someone's either Rory or GSP because I know that they've been doing it since they were kids and I know that it's when GSP was traveling a lot to from Canada to, to New York like every day or like something like that so I think I can kind of relate myself to Rory and GSP but my you know and G uh, um, uh, John Jones is one of the best, if not the best, and uh, and uh, McGregor is just he's a funny guy and he's a showman, man. And that's what I want to be. I want to this this is this is uh, this is um, entertainment, and I want to entertain people with my fight and shoot for everyone. <laughs> Literally, I look up to everyone. Everyone, yeah, everyone just great. Like I can obviously there are like people in the UFC here. There are people in. Um, Bellator, but there are people not even Bellator US, but I still look up and like, wow, like look at him, he's like great, like oh, I want to be like that guy, you know, like I, I want to steal some techniques from him because he's great, or you know, oh look, look at Paige, what he's doing, look at Shipman, what he's doing, so look at, you know, and I'm like, yeah, they, these guys are good, and I'm like, when you see them fight, and I'm like, I'm gonna do that in my fight. If you like, you have to, it has, it has to be in your blood. I think a little bit to do it and you have to be a little bit crazy because you get hit in the face and most, most, most people don't like that. Also I like beating people up, that's, that's a massive factor. <laughs> I, like, I like punching people. But no, I, I think it's just great and, and if you look at all the specs, like, you have to be... People say that our oh, fighters are dumb and, and stupid and no, you have to be really... I, I believe that most good fighters are very smart. And you have to be, you have to, you have to have some, some, some brain for this. You have to have, uh, you have to be athletic and all. Like you have to be hard working. I think this is so complex and everything, and it just, it looks great. I don't know. It's, I don't know how to. It just, I love the sport. It's just so good. In, like if you look at MMA, we're good at judo. We're good at wrestling. Uh, really good at judo and wrestling. We're good at boxing. We're good at kickboxing. Even, even we've got some good jujitsu guys. But if you put them together. In MMA, there's not many because uh, not. I think it's really new in Hungary as well. So I remember like the the first people who did uh, MMA in Hungary. So I'm friends with them, you know, and and still when they started, they like in already in England, it was like like people knew about it, and then there was UFC already. Whereas in Hungary, it became big in I think in the last two three years. I do music. I love uh, I love. Uh, I was gonna say watch TV because I love watching TV. Uh, well, also I do music, uh, I play the piano and the guitar, so I think if I didn't fight I would be doing music, but I, I don't, to be fair, I don't really hang out with my friends, because I don't really have time, because I've got college and now I'm going to start working as well, because uh, I'll pass my uh, driving test, so, yeah. so I'm going to have to start driving, here is going to be money, so if anyone wants to sponsor me, then uh, hit me up, uh, yeah. But uh, yeah, yeah, sponsors, sponsors would be good. But um, yeah, so I don't really have time to go out with my friends and stuff. So I'll maybe after my fight, I go out for like a weekend. I maybe I go to house or something. But I don't drink. I don't do. I don't do stupid stuff. Uh, but mainly if, if I'm at home, I either do my schoolwork. I either do. I either play the piano, or guitar, or or watching TV. <laughs> well, I. D I listen to like, so if it's music from heavy metal to, to I don't even know, to classical music. I like, you know, I personally love classical music and I also like training to some heavy metal uh, song. But uh, if I if I do, if I play the piano, what I really like to do, I like, because uh, listen to modern music and then like, I put it, like, so by ear, like, I start playing it, or maybe I learn it from YouTube or something, and I, I make it into, I turn it into more classical, uh, like a house music, for example, a house song, a classical song. Uh, but I also produce music on my laptop sometimes. Uh, guitar, too far, I always learn guitar so I can show off. I like piano, because piano sounds good and everything. Guitar, I just had to learn it to show off. <laughs>